Hey there, guys. Love them knives on board. What are we talking about today? I'll tell you what. Okay, I gotta, I gotta tell you something here. SRM. Man, there's a lot to say about this knife. There really is. I mean, check that edge out. First of all, just check that edge out. When's the last time you got a knife that just came out of the box like that? There's something wrong with this. There's something wrong. That, that didn't come like that. I mean, but it's like brand new in the box. I don't know. It's so weird. I got it out and I go, what the hell? That doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, so got a lot to say about this knife. SRM. <sighs> Where do I start? SRM stands for San Ren Mu. What's interesting, I mean, these are knives that are made in China. Da, 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 da. And a related company to Real Steel. Or, you know, a, I think it's kind of like Stedman versus Zahn or whatever. Um, it's, it's the same deal, but the same corporation, or maybe they are one's a, you know, subsidiary or the other, whatever, you know, branched out for different purposes. I heard somewhere, and this could be a bunch of crap, probably is, but Sanren Mu was started up pretty much as, you know, Chinese consumption type, the brand for that. And then when they went to real steel, that was more for their export. And then, of course, Gear Best and stuff, they sell a lot of San Renmu. And, you know, even Power Cutlery does. They're here in the U.S. and, you know, other places. Although, I'm not seeing these at the standard retail sellers online. And there's no reason that they couldn't be doing this. Because this, I got this from a USA distributor. They have them in stock in the United States, okay? You don't have to wait three weeks to get the San Ren Moon knife. You can get it in a few days. So that's interesting. Um, this is a liner lock flipper. This just seems so much like this knife. I'll tell you right off the bat. And yeah, we'll, we'll look at the knife for a while and then we'll talk. But yeah, those scales look a little familiar. Real steel, right? $59.60. This is the Real Steel T101 Special Edition. I call it Thor 101. In any case, so I like this knife. This is that Sandvik 14C28N knife. But look at look at the difference here. Um, what's interesting is that look at the look at the blade design here. I like this knife better than this knife. As far as de overall design. I wonder why. Here we go again. Here it comes. Getting ready. Why do I like it? Hmm. Or can we say Ganzo? Hmm. <laughs> of course, these two are like dead ringers you know i mean there was a little uproar when the ganzo knife came out in like 20 bucks or 18 bucks and of course what's this two 200 but i mean 175 but you know and this is 720 i believe so you know so maybe a closer relative here only this doesn't have that g lock of course now they can call it anything they want because it's all over for benchmade they can't they they don't have the access anymore uh you know wrapped up in uh, copyright or whatever so um yeah and this is a liner lock this is not a g lock but hello yeah pretty close isn't it yeah i thought that was funny but you know here it is i mean th but this is like a 30 dollar knife okay this isn't a $18 Ganzo. And of course the Ganzo's got 440C. This one has nine CR14 MOV. Interesting, isn't it? It's not eight CR13. It's nine CR14. I haven't done any studying up on that, but I'll tell you what, that's a hell of an edge on that thing. 
That's a hell of an itch. And you know what? No more than I do. You know, I'm cutting packages open and I'm doing this and that. Doing, you know, just daily kind of stuff with a knife. I, You know, and I use my beaters for that because I don't want to use my really nice stuff. So I use my beaters. And you know what? They sharpen right up and all that. And it's not... I don't really... It doesn't really bother me. I don't feel like I have to have, you know, like a minimum of os or D2 or whatever. I don't understand the renaissance with D2 steel necessarily myself, but um, yes. Uh, let's see if this, this nice mirrored edge will cut. And yes, it will. Yeah. It's pretty too, isn't it? I, I don't understand why that came like that. I'm get I'm gonna get go get another one because uh, I'm gonna go back to my distributor and get the one with the red and blue. You can get the red and blue, red and blue, just like this instead of the black and blue. I mean, the, not red and blue, black and red, black and red as opposed to blue and red, uh, blue and black. Jesus Mary, whoo. I got eight hours of sleep, I swear to God. Um, and the pocket clip. Yeah, I'm sure that'll flip, right? I'm sure that'll flip. Interesting. So you can go right hand, left hand with that. I don't see why you can't. I mean, look at the, look at the cutout area on this side. And under here on this side, so you can do that. Um, I guess, I mean, last time I did this too, I had to get my little, um, uh, I, I put a piece of cloth over there, but I got my needle nose, real small craft pair of needle nose and turned that to undo it. So I don't know, that's kind of strange. Sometimes they give you a little hole in there. You can stick something in and turn it. In any case, so you got full stainless liners in here and let's let's see if they skeletonized them i've slept since then yeah they did skeletonize the liners up and down those are some thick old bad boy steel liners and it's just like real steel i mean basically to me this is a real steel thor t101 with a different blade and a different blade type steel but this is like the lion steel sr1 or the Ganzo 720. Would I rather have the Ganzo 720? No, but uh, I've had it before and, you know, I thought that was a real solid knife. I mean, I only got so much room in my drawers and I don't try and load up too heavy on the budget guys. And I'm kind of getting picky on my budget knives now. So I've got a couple of Ganzos, but they're different. They're like carbon fiber and stuff like that. So, but this one, that's good lockup, good sturdy lockup, no blade play, no lock rock, great action, centered up, feels good in the hand. The handle's different, you know, than the Lion Steel or than the Ganzo 720, but yeah, I like it. This really thrilled me. I, yeah, I got to get the black and red as well. And I, because I want to, I want to get another knife and check that edge out, see if that really comes that way. But if you guys can't find these around, because I can't, I had to go on the SRM knife site to find them, just to, to look. I mean, hold on. I've got this somewhere. And yeah, pull the front page. Okay, so SRM knives, okay? SRMknives.com. SRM series. Now, that's what they're calling them. And here in the first page, ooh -la -la, here we go, right? The 1005 GQ, 1005. This is the blue is the GQ, the red and black, and it's hard to see, but that's just the 1005. Suppose, I mean, you know, this is like buying a real steel knife off the real steel site. You know, they're gonna charge full SRP on those. So this is, I mean, yeah, in your worst nightmare, this would be what you'd have to pay for this knife. In your worst nightmare. Should be able to get it for 35, something like that, okay? 
Uh, in any case, not a lot of money in there anyhow. There's another one I'm going to order and take a look at this one, this 9002. And this is in tan. Uh, backside is a steel and it's a frame lock. So might be interesting. In any case, so that's kind of the wrap on that. Oh, I'll be talking about these upcoming. There's a full titanium one. This is the steel handled flipper. Really cool knife. Open pivot and open, you know, the, the you can see through. There's an open hole in the, but check this out. And I'll be doing a video on that. 85 bucks. This is titanium. Titanium. And it's not an MOV. This is, a, I think, 12C27 sandbag. So it's kind of strange to put with a full titanium frame lock flipper, but leave it to SRM or Sanran Moo. You know, what can I say? It's uh, all crazy. That's enough paperwork. Let's look at the knife. Let's uh, get a measurement. Bertha, get out here. Okay, so. Yeah, three and a half, maybe three and five eighths. Overall, about eight and a quarter, eight and an eighth, eight and a quarter, depending on where you want to stop this this train. And you know, about twenty one centimeters coming close up that. So, as far as you know, about ninety millimeter blade length. So, can we say fancy PM two? Same size same size <laughs> that's about where the similarities end oh yeah about the same quality of steel let's see s110v 9cr14 okay never mind don't even go down that road man i'll tell you what ah, i'll leave you alone girl let's let's turn on the scale because it's gonna be ugly it's gonna be ugly this thing is this thing is a chunk of change a chunk of change 6.3 ounces yeah i wouldn't lie to you was a 180 grams but i'll tell you what this see i'll tell you and i i can't tell you how many of those thor t101s come flying through my place last year and i had guys like i can't get enough of them i mean would reorder uh one from me here and there it's like if you're gonna put in an order could you catch me a couple of those and you know make a deal or whatever and he you know for gifts and you know because they like them so well themselves they're like i want to give give my brother-in-law a night blah 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 and these are just solid these are just good um so this is i mean i'm talking about real steel and i'm talking about this one here this feels good got a little thumb ramp going on here i mean i'm talking about the SR1, right? I mean, basically, this blade design. Interesting. Pass through, real easy to get through, and jimped. Great blade action. I haven't had it apart, haven't messed with it, nothing. I mean, look at that. So, yeah, if you can find it in your heart to forgive SRM for the 9CR14, which... I don't know. I mean, I haven't done that much research on it, but as far as I'm concerned, you know, there's a difference between pot metal and blade steel. These are blade steels. These are actual steels you can use in a knife. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to apologize. For me, this is fine. Really, would I know that if there was no markings, I didn't know the difference. I wouldn't know this from, you know, I wouldn't know it from the Sandvik the 12 c27 or the 14 c28 n i wouldn't know it how about you know uh what is it 8 cr or 9 cr 18 um you know i don't know i mean if their heat treat is right and all that kind of stuff so i don't care i like it i'm gonna get the red and black too I just think they're a stunningly good-looking knife. They are a handful. They are, oh, 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 that, we got to do that right. There's no way to really tell you about this knife without doing this. There you go, 0.65. See what I'm telling you? That is a fat daddy, 16.6 millimeters. Now let's check out, yeah, 4 millimeter blade stock. So that's like 0.158, something like that, I don't know, right in there. 
0.155 somewhere. Really great action, but you know, we're, we're just basically talking about just another real steel knife. And you know what? I love real steel knives. They're really good. About a five on the detent scale. Really easy to flip. Can I fail this? Oh yeah, this would be easy to fail. Yeah, I can fail it. But it still swings open really good. You know, see, I have fun, and I didn't even talk about the lockout, but I have fun that keeps it from, from disengaging here, you know. So until you pull that back, and then you can disengage this. I have fun with these little budget knives. I really do, and I'm not going to apologize for it. I, you know, sometimes these can be as much fun or more like the 1005 GQ. These can be as much fun or more than anything else. Uh, it's silly. I know I get my kicks real cheap, but I don't care. I don't care. You want to run off all custom knives, all mid techs, all this kind of, oh, six, seven, eight hundred, eighteen hundred, twenty five hundred, thirty five hundred. 2500, 3500. I still have a blast with these. These are just, and you know what? Still stays with your budget. You can afford to have a blast. <sighs> Seriously? I mean, really? Because I, I like them. I mean, I like them. This new, you know, QSP knives now that we've got here. Um, do I like Steel Wheel? Hell yeah. Ontario Rat. I mean, hey, we're having fun, right? I mean, there's all kinds of cool stuff out there. Of course, Best Tech. I mean... Give me some G10, give me a liner lock, give me a reasonable blade, whatever, and I'm good, right? I love the Modus. Intrigue. I got a lot of, I got a lot of steel wheel stuff here. But, you know, what I'm just saying is, yeah, these are a blast. I like the budget stuff. I mean, you can go run off with your three, $400 knives or whatever all day long, but still, there's just so much fun in having a knife that you don't have to worry about. You throw this baby down on the table, it could drop on the ground, whatever, you pick it up, dust it off, it ain't gonna scratch up. This G10's tough stuff. This is beater hard. You can use and abuse this thing. And no, it won't do 500 rope cuts with and still shave paper, but guess what? You can sharpen it, yep. You can sharpen it a lot easier than you're gonna sharpen the super steels. Yes, you can. Yep, you can strope it up. You can refurb this edge back. Not a big problem. With this choil here, not a problem there. Whew. This just feels good in the hand. It really does. You ought to try the action on these. You know, 30-something bucks. Is it worth it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, the... Uh, the one with the Sandvik here from uh, Real Steel, 60 bucks, right? 30, 60. You know, I mean, you got to pick your poison, but to me, I prefer this style actually. So, as much as, you know, traditionally, I haven't been all that attracted to San Ran Moon knives. I'm sure liking this one, and there's a couple more I'm going to show you, um, that titanium one, that are kind of intriguing. And there's a steel version of that that's like, I don't know, 28, 32 bucks, something like that. So, you know, that will be, uh, that'll be fun. You know, I look at the design if I think it's a really cool looking knife and then I look a little closer and do a little research and I was surprised by this. This surprised the hell out of me. I really do like this one. Can you say deep carry pocket clip? I reckon. All right. Class dismissed, like I'm teaching you anything. I learn more from you guys than I get anywhere else. It's the point of having this channel. I get to learn. I mean, some people go, maybe you ought to do your research before you open a YouTube channel, start reviewing knives. And it's like, you know, if I had to wait till I knew everything about knives to open a, a YouTube channel, I'd be dead because you're always learning about knives. So what you do is you just take a step out in the unknown, have some fun, get out there, yeah, you're going to stumble. You're going to make mistakes. Who cares? Have some fun. You know, 
hey, it's not the end of the world. It's a freaking pocket knife, okay? But <laughs> it's sure intriguing because <laughs> I do like knives. I really do. It's crazy, and I'm learning a lot. But, you know, it's just one of those things, you know. You're, you're twisted one way or the other. You either love hunting or fishing or knives or camping or cars or everything or motorcycles or all of them. Not a bad choice. I'll take all the above. All right, take care, guys. Hey, you know what we do around here. We love them knives, so stay sharp.